Today in our first reading, we encounter Esther's prayer. That's a very beautiful prayer where she says, Help me who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord, my God. It's a powerful prayer. At times in life, all we have is God as we walk through it. And in one sense, he is all we need. One of the beautiful things about the priesthood is learning this truth is learning to lean on God alone above all creatures and drawing your strength from Him. This is essential in our formation process. Obviously, this does not mean we ignore other people or others when we need help or when we need to help others, for God calls us to serve our neighbor. We are meant to be with other people on our journey in this life, but I'm speaking of this in an ultimate sense. At times we have no one but God in our life, and if we lay our hearts before him, it is not uncommon that he will reveal himself to us and his strength. It is this eternal presence encountering our limited existence. And at times there's a peace that captures our hearts and reassures us God is there. His presence is felt, and his love overwhelms us. And this is not some superficial sense, rather one that draws us deeper into trusting God is active in our lives. And it draws us deeper into our faith, where we experience the God of life, who reaches out in redeeming love. These experiences are meant to draw us into a more sound and solid faith intellectually, to where we don't rely simply on feeling God, but we come to know He is present. We don't ask these silly questions anymore, but we begin to walk in faith, in one sense, where we no longer depend on experiences, but know God is there and seek to act in a way which is right and just. Further from hearing the gospel countless, countless times, we, we know God's desire is always for our good and for our salvation in all circumstances. In this way, the torch of faith gives us vision in the nightfall of life's challenges.